Hey guys, what's up people? Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? What is happening in life? How is everything going people? Hi Vijayendra, what's up buddy? How are you doing? I'm just uh, hoping that you guys can hear me and see me. Hi Barkavi, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome people, welcome. What's happening? The only three of you guys are here. Hello, what's up guys? Hello. Good afternoon. Seriously, it's 4.45. How is this afternoon? Hi, Sumishmita. How are you doing? Hi, Prerna. What's up? How are you doing? Hi, Janvi. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, people. What afternoon? Day? Evening. Day. Hi, Anjil. How are you doing? Hi, Arna. Hi, Gauri. What's up, guys? What's up? How is life? How is everything going? I'm good, Shami. Thank you for asking. How are you people doing? Hi, Diptanchu. Good evening. Good evening, people. Good evening. What's up? Haircut or no, Diptanchu? It's all like adjustment. I have to get a haircut. I haven't got a proper haircut in the past 10 months. I literally haven't gone to a barber shop in the past 10 months. We will be having the menti today. People for sure will be having the menti. First, we'll study a little. The topic is very simple but also very important because this is, this is the basic stuff that you must know for you to understand or to draw your own uh, ray diagram so that's going to be super duper important so listen very very carefully and then we'll do the mentees well don't worry people come solve that that's all don't worry thank you oh is it shadi okay didn't know about that no, good to know hi vijendra hi arana thank you for joining people even though abhishek's class class is going on thank you i'm honored i'm honored hi and you know welcome 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 don't worry i'll be sharing the code as well don't worry people so anyways once again hopefully all of you guys are doing good and taking care of yourself again people can't stress this enough coronavirus is not over all right news is might have stopped talking about it your friends would stop talking about it but does not make it go away all right so please please take good care of yourself so in today's session guys we will be talking about focus and the standard incident ray of both concave as well as convex lenses before we get started my name is anup and this year is vidant to 9th and 10th english channel all right so that's it guys let's get started with today's session without wasting any more time but yes as always coat right coat no matter how cliche the quotes are we have a quote the good for you today is this guys if you want to be powerful educate yourself because there's nothing more powerful than knowledge people there's nothing like money is a tool but education or the knowledge that you get from education it's not just education it's knowledge that you get from education is what is a two part never ever underestimate that all right don't ever take it as something that you're whatever you're doing right now don't just take it as something that you're doing for your examination don't do it like that people pay attention and make sure that you learn for knowledge not just for marks all right with that bashan with that said Let's get started. Now we have already done eight sessions of this chapter, people. This is going to be the ninth session, which means that if you haven't watched all the videos yet, please do that as well. It'll be there somewhere in the description, or you just go to the past videos. You'll find all of those videos that have been already recorded. So go through all of that as well. If in case there is any doubt, you can choose that particular topic and go through that particular video. So in the last session, that is spherical lenses and their components. I had actually asked you a homework question. This was the question basically: How many center of curvatures does a lens have? Let me know, people. Answers. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't cheating. No cheat. Wait, 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 wait. Huh. Tell me what's the answer, people. Tell me what's the answer. How many <laughs> center of curvature does a lens have? Go up. Go for it. Come up. So money does not provide many things. Exactly, and exactly, exactly. <coughs> Did you copy it? Did you copy it, Jami? <laughs> exactly correct guys the right answer is two it has one on the right hand side it's it has one on the left hand side that is one on the one spherical surface and the other on the other spherical surface because you know that a lens is a part of two different spheres and hence two would be the right answer <sighs> i don't know what to say i should have i should have done this before but uh, i'm very awesome that's all anyways so people can we get started people can we get started everyone in the chat box give me a oh yeah people i don't want to be the next victim but i don't i don't ever want to be the victim not the next not ever not in the future not ever 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 never never that's all <laughs> all right guys i'm good guys thank you for asking so yes people i will be a little slow thank you for reminding me so guys let's start focus of lenses first of all guys let's talk about a focus of a convex lens then i'll work our way through concave lenses as well 
for convex lens. Imagine. See, people, you already know what is refraction. What is refraction? When ray of light is passing peacefully, aram se, on a straight line, when it's traveling from one medium into another, what happens is that if the medium is a little denser, the speed of light slows down a little, right? It slows down a little because the obstruction offered by the material is more. So light has to work its way through. And because the speed of light reduces, there's a slight change in the path that the light takes. Now, we've already seen that. That is what is refraction. So here, if you see this, guys, the light ray is passing from air. I don't know where my pen is. Okay, I'm awesome. Wait, cuts. one second, people. I'm not able to find my pen now. What's the point of... Yes, got it. I'm very, very careful like this. All right, so a ray of light is passing from air into glass. Now, this is glass, right? Your lenses are made of glass. And then it comes out of the glass as well. So, in other words, the ray of light is going from a rarer medium into a denser medium and then again into a rarer medium. So, obviously, because of the density of the medium changing, this a change in the speed of light. So, you see this? The light, instead of going straight, okay, that's not exactly straight, but it's instead of going a straight way, what happens is that there's a slight deflection happening from its original path, and that is what is a refraction. Now, if you look carefully, guys, in a, lay, in a lens, the ray of light refracts at least twice. Not at least, it does refract twice. Now, the first ray of light comes in incidence on the first refracting surface, the first surface. So if I draw a normal to that point, this is what the normal would look like. I'm drawing a normal to C2, which is nothing but the center of curvature. I'm drawing to this point because obviously the surface is curved. So I can't just draw a straight line, right? That doesn't make any, make any sense. Because it's curved, I'm going to draw a normal passing through the center of curvature. Now this here is the original path of light. This is what the OG path of light is supposed to be. It's supposed to go straight. But then, because of refraction, now remember this guys, can you please tell me in the chat box, when light ray is going from rarer medium into denser medium, what should happen? Should it go towards the normal or away from the normal? What does it happen? What, has, what happens? Come on, quickly. So when you go light, when it travels from one medium to another, it's known exactly, Vishal, exactly, exactly, Bhargav. It will bend towards the normal. When it's going from rarer into denser medium, it bends towards the normal. So what happens? The ray of light would basically go this way. Basically, it'll go towards the normal, which would look something like this. Now, once it reaches the second surface, Again, it goes on, it undergoes refraction because now it's going from denser medium into a rarer medium. So once again, I'm going to draw a normal, but this time I am going to draw the normal to C1 because that is a refracting surface. So I'll just draw a normal to this point, which looks like this. Now, here you see this, when light ray is going from a denser medium into a rarer medium, the light ray should go away from the normal. And hence, instead of going straight, it goes away from the normal, which basically looks like that. Got it? Did everyone understand this, people? This is what happens. This is like the step-by-step -step cutting, piecing of light rays. Got it? Understood, people? Everyone clear with it so far? It's super, super important. That's why I'm telling this. All right? Don't just buy out everything now. Understand it. Got it? All right. Now, let's take another ray of light which is incidenting below the principal axis, which is, a, which is nothing but this is the principal axis because remember this is the straight line passing through the optic center, that is what is called the principal axis. So I'm going to take a ray of light that is passing and coinciding or incidenting on the surface below the principal axis. Once again, I'll just draw a normal to that point, wherever that point on that surface is. And I see that when I draw a point on this, you see that it goes towards the normal. So again, if I draw a you know, if I draw normal basically to this point itself, I draw normal to this point, you see that it moves towards a normal. As usual, you already know that from rarer to denser medium, it moves towards a normal. Again, on the second surface, if I draw another, you know, uh, what to say, normal to that point, that is uh, on this point where it gets refracted again because the ray of light has to leave that lens. What happens? You see that it goes away from the normal. So again, it moves away from the normal. 
and both of them apparently meet at a point on the principal axis now you can take n number of rays like this you can take 10 20 30 it does not matter if the rays of light are all parallel to the principal axis after refraction they all end up meeting in the exact same point that point for a convex lens because the lens is converging you see this the rays of light are actually parallel but after refraction they're all meeting at a point they're all converging and meeting at a point that point is called as what people in the chat box what is that called as anyone anyone somebody anybody nobody knows this come on people what is that called as what mentally will have done with it chilled exactly yes. that point on the principal axis is what is called as the focus that's all so if you have to define what is focus it is nothing but a point on the principal axis where the rays of light after which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction meet at a point on the principal axis that is what is called as a focus that's all that point is called as focus that's all nothing else it's nothing it is not some uh, rocket science that is what is focus now if you were to say that the object is placed on the right hand side again the exact same thing would happen but this time the focus would be on the uh, left hand side because the rays of light are coming and incidenting from the left hand side on the right hand side sorry so the focus would be on the left hand side so if the rays of light or if the object is placed on the left hand side the image would be formed or the focus is on the right hand side if the object is placed on the right hand side then the focus is going to be on the left hand side that's all that is all. nothing else all right now in general guys remember this that a lens has two focus this here is f1 and this here is f2 so if you talk about a convex lens it has f1 and f2 f1 is focus number one and this is our second focus first focus and second focus because again because why because our lens is made up of two spherical space that's it all right guys now this is about a convex lens let's, let's talk about a concave lens then all right now let's talk about a convex lens before we get into that case let me just tell you what all we've seen right now refraction happens twice in a lens we've already understood that a parallel ray of light after incidenting on the obviously on the lens after refraction would meet at a single point and that point on the principal axis what is called as focus now getting into concave lens how does the focus look like in a concave lens now first of all guys this is what a concave lens looks like now this is called as a diverging lens if you remember it this is called as a diverging lens not a converging lens called as a diverging lens because it makes the light rays move away from each other all right now incident right a ray of light is coming and incidenting on the lens this here is supposed to be the original path simple light does not know that it is gonna you know get into some kind of trouble so what happens once it reaches the first surface it again bends now this time because it's going from rarer medium to denser medium again the ray of light would move away from the normal and hence this is what it would look like so if you draw a normal to c1 this is what it would look like it will move towards the normal so not away towards the normal and the ray of light would look like this now once it reaches the second surface once again it undergoes refraction because it's going from denser to rarer medium and if i draw normal to that surface you see that this is my normal to c1 this will be to c2 and you see that it goes away from the normal so you see this that the ray of light after refraction is going away in fact it's taking the rays of light away from each other so far so good people so can i can we write c as 2f yes 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 Jeremy. yes it's absolutely correct because that distance is going to be 2f it's a twice the focal length you can write it as 2f also all right so you like write it as 2f1 and 2f2 that's all right it's, it's absolutely correct so light is an electromagnetic wave or not it is an electromagnetic wave it is an electromagnetic wave it can be detected by magnet not really sure but it can be studied through other like why we call it as an electromagnetic wave is because there are few uh, properties of like like inference and uh, you know diffraction and all that which we cannot explain if we uh, imagine light to be packets of energy that's why we'll talk about that later all right anyways so come back to this one now you see this if i take n number of rays of light like this all parallel to the principal axis after refraction they all move away from the from the you know focus uh, from the sorry from the principal axis and you see that this is why it's called as a diverging lens now if a person is standing over here right 
no personal standing over here with big guys and everything yes now for him all this ray of light would appear to emerge from one point now the key word here is it appears to emerge it's not actually emerging from that but it appears to emerge from that point that point on the principal axis for a concave lens where the rays of light appear to meet is what is called as the focus now once again guys if a person is standing over here what happens when he is looking at these rays of light for him it seems like all these rays of light are meeting at this point or is originating from this point so if you extend those rays of light they all meet at this one point on the principal axis which is what is called as the focus of a convex concave lens now so thing is this guys this focus is a virtual focus not a real one but a virtual focus why because the rays of light are not actually meeting they are only appearing to meet now if you keep the object on the right hand side it's going to have the exact same things will happen so you see this guys the focus of a concave lens is going to be on the same side as the object here also it's on the same side the object is over here and the uh, the focus is on the same side here also the object is over here and the focus is going to be on the exact same side did you people understand this are you guys able to understand this yes people exactly they appear to me that is the key word appear to me that there is called as the virtual focus of a concave lens done no, no, no. that's it. got it yes people all right <laughs> anyways guys so that pretty much is basically your focus of both concave concave and convex lenses so in conclusion guys one once again just to repeat it all the rays of light would passing through the concave lens diverge away from each other and when you were to produce it backwards or extend it backwards they all appear to meet at a point and that point on the principal axis is called as the focus of a concave lens that's all all right this is how you have to define it if you are asked in your examinations define it this way don't just write so this is just a point on the principal axis don't no. define it this way that they are appearing to meet if you talk about a concave lens and a convex lens they are actually meeting at that point on the principal axis that is your concave lens that's it Sorry, convex lens that's it all right so in conclusion people a concave lens is a diverging lens a convex lens is a converging lens and here you have a real focus in a convex lens you have a real focus because the rays of light are actually meeting in a concave lens however the rays of light are appearing to meet and hence you have a virtual focus that's all all right i hope everyone understood this now now what we are going to get into right now is going to be super duper important because this here if you understand trust me guys if you understand what i'm going to say right now your ray diagrams which carries 5 to 10 marks would be like super easy like super duper easy just need to understand what i'm going to try to say right now do not by heart your ray diagrams once again i'm telling this guys do not by heart your ray diagrams it can be super duper easy if you just listen and understand this one so once again guys are you people ready yes or no i want your complete focus 100% attention like i don't want even 0.001% thinking about what you're going to do next 100% attention thank you thank all right now this is the thing very serious okay this is rocket science all right now a convex lens let's say a ray of light is parallel to the principal axis parallel very simple parallel to the principal axis all right now after refraction this ray of light would pass through the focus if you talk about a convex again if you talk about a convex lens if the ray of light is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will pass through the focus now you can take 100 rays of light does not matter i can take 100 rays of light all parallel remember this that is the key word it should all be parallel to the principal axis my lines are never straight so don't worry about it but after refraction all of these rays of light would always always pass through the focus all right amazing drawing i know it anyways so this is the first thing rays of light that is parallel to the principal axis now in your remember this guys in your ray diagrams you can only take two rays of light one is always going to be parallel to the principal axis the second is a ray of light that is passing through the optic center now these are the only two rays of light that you're going to take because remember this that you only need two rays of light to form an image 
for all your ray diagrams from concave to convex lens wherever the object is placed you're going to be using these two things one ray of light parallel to the principal axis which would pass through the focus and another ray of light which would be passing through the optic center all right now another case if let's say the ray of light is passing through the focus this time it's passing through the focus of the lens after refraction this ray of light will become parallel to the principal axis that's all once again first one if the ray of light is parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the focus if the ray of light is already passing through the focus then after refraction it will become parallel to the principal axis now this is not something that you use much but it's better to remember it all right a ray of light pa passing to the focus would pass parallel to the principal axis no matter how many rays of light you take like this if it is passing through the focus after refraction it will become parallel to the principal axis second one the third most important thing if the ray of light is passing through the optic center or optical center of the lens which is nothing but the geometric center of the lens the ray of light would pass through undeviated without any sort of refraction the ray of light would pass straight through that all right did you guys understand this this is super duper duper important once again i'm going to repeat this guys listen very carefully first thing if the ray of light is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will pass through the focus first point if the ray of light is passing through the focus after refraction it will become parallel to the principal axis if the ray of light is passing through the center or optical center or optic center it will pass through undeviated now all you need is to remember this one these two rays of light super duper important you need to remember all the three but this one is what you're going to be using in all your ray diagrams this one and this one is what you're going to be using in all your ray diagrams now the reason why i'm selling this guys you don't have to remember cramp up all those ray diagrams it can get super confusing instead remember these two things and the entire ray diagrams become super duper easy all right guys is it clear 100% so what is deviation it's nothing but the uh, the change in the path that they and the original path the uh, what is it whatever is the original path and the change in that path is what is called deviation that's all that change in path is what is deviation got it yes people all good everyone here have understood this all 30 of you guys. i want a quick yes if all of you guys have understood this because it's super duper important guys very very important so as the angle between the angle of incidence and the, that is if you're talking about a, a block now if you're talking about rectangular glass block yeah that is absolutely correct that is absolutely correct but if you're talking about that is the angle of emergence or angle of deviation you can talk about the prism also that's absolutely correct but here you can just say that it's nothing but the uh, change in the part that is what it's called in simple words that is what it is all right uh so that we have a lot of other questions and don't worry what is optical center it is nothing but the geometric center of the lens the geometric center for example if you take a if you take a circle the geometric center is nothing but the center of the circle if you take a square the geometric center is nothing but where you draw two diagonals and that point that it meets that is the geometric center here the geometric center of a lens would be basically the center the exact center of the lens is called the geometric center that point is called as optical center got it so this is these are for different geometric figures this is for our lens all good yes people so can you please revise ntsc physics because i can't understand any short sure, we'll think about that also don't worry we'll be talking about that also today don't worry so why we have two focus of lens simran because our lens is made up of two spherical spheres this is a part of one sphere this is a part of one sphere that's why you have two focus as well all right yes you get the point no one is small one is big you get the point got it all right guys now let's talk about a convex lens how sorry concave lens how does it happen now here also guys if you remember these three things it's going to be super super important so listen carefully the first thing again same scenario if a ray of light is passing parallel or is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will appear to pass through the focus or if you extend that ray of light it will appear to pass through the focus that is the first one if the ray of light is parallel to the principal axis it will appear to pass through the focus appear to pass through the focus second one if the ray of light is appearing to pass through the focus you see this this is the incident ray it is supposed to go straight through the focus but then after refraction it will become parallel to the principal axis again if the ray of light is 
parallel to the principal axis after refraction it appear to uh, appear to pass through the focus first one second ray of light or the second incident or second standard incident ray if the ray of light is appearing to pass through the focus this is supposed to be the incident ray this is how the light is supposed to go but after refraction it will become parallel to the principal axis second one third one again this is going to be same for both concave as well as convex lenses if the ray of light is passing through the optic center or optical center it will pass through undeviated now again guys this one and this one is what you're going to be using to draw all the ray diagrams of your con a concave lens. Now again, you only have two ray diagrams in this. Both of these, you don't have to cramp it. Just remember this. You can easily draw all of your ray diagrams. All right. Is it clear, people? Is it clear? When a ray of light passes through optical center, what happens? It will pass through undeviated. There's no deviation whatsoever. No refraction takes place. It passes through straight. That's all. All right, guys? So once again, once again, I'm going to repeat this one more time. If the ray of light is parallel to the principal axis, after it's a diverging lens, right? So the ray after refraction, it will basically pass, it'll appear to pass through the focus or the ray of light appears to come or emerge from the focus. If the ray of light is appearing to pass through the focus, after refraction, it will become parallel to the principal axis. It is the ray of light is coming this way. It's supposed to pass through the focus. After refraction, will become parallel to the principal axis. Thirdly, if it is passing through the optic center, it will pass through undeviated. That's all. Got it, people. Got it. So these are the three things that you have to remember. Now, once again, guys, if you just know this one and this one, all ray diagrams. There are only two ray diagrams. Even that, you don't have to buy hard. Just remember these two things and this thing would be super duper easy. All right, guys. Sounds good, people. All good. Yes, guys. Yes, yes. Everyone, everyone in the chat box. Did everyone understand this? Isn't this virtual? Which one? The focus is virtual now. It is a virtual focus because obviously it's a diverging lens. So here it is. A, it's going to be a virtual uh, focus. And the image that you get is also going to be virtual because the rays of light are not actually meeting in a concave lens. But in a convex lens, you can get both real and virtual. You already know the this thing. We'll be talking about ray diagrams as well as we go ahead. So if the object is placed between the focus and the optical center, then what you get is actually a virtual image. Otherwise, in all the other scenarios, you'd be getting a real image. All right. Sounds good. All right, guys. Yeah, I know, I know. Menti, Menti, I know. We'll do the Menti now. But before we do the Menti, guys, I have one important notice for you guys. A super duper interesting surprise. After that, we'll do the Menti as well. So be ready for that. Go to www.menti.com and keep your this thing ready. As soon as I go to that, I'll give you the code as well. So everyone, log in and be ready. I will definitely give you the code in a second. In a while, all right? So once again, just to conclude everything, guys, if a ray of light is parallel to the principal axis, it will pass through the focus or appear to pass through the focus in the case of a concave lens. In the case of a convex lens, it will pass through the focus. If the ray of light is appearing to or passing through the focus, after refraction will become parallel to the principal axis. And if it's passing through the optical center, it will pass through undeviated or in other words, there's no refraction happening at all. Right? All right, guys. Now, before we get into the menti, I know, I know. You guys have been waiting for this. All I see is menti. If I just turn, menti is all I see. Do not worry, guys. We'll be doing the menti now. But before we get into that, I have a super duper amazing surprise for you guys. Listen carefully. Now, you already know the drill. You already know. You've listened to it like 100 different times right now. You've attended so many Vedantu master classes and Vedantu classes on YouTube that you already know what I'm going to say. But still, there is a little surprise, a little twist over here. All right. Now, for all the new guys out there, so this, this is the thing is, we have actually asked you guys a poll asking you people what are the problems that you people are facing during this quarantine time because you know your life has changed a lot since the you know since the whole pandemic thing has started. So getting you know your studies have also uh, twisted a little, it's, it's become a little bit more complicated to uh, you know cope up with what many of you guys are still struggling. I totally understand that. I have a lot of students reaching out to me saying that sir, it's it's I'm finding it difficult. I really want to go back to school and you know get uh, actually you know get in touch with teachers and stuff. How many of you guys feel like this? Duh? How many of you guys? I know, I know. Oh, you already know what? What is this? Duh? What is this? You guys already know about all of that also. Anyways, so we were anyways. So these are the things that you guys have told us. All right. First problem that you guys are facing is doubts, right? Because majority of your doubts are not getting cleared on time because you know your teachers are at home, your students, your friends, everyone is at home. So getting your doubts cleared has become a very big problem. Secondly, 
your notes because not all the time that you can download all the notes that the teacher has written many a times you know it just the uh, the link is is not there in the description or something like that happens and you're not able to download the notes so you can't refer to what the teacher has already taught you third tests and assignments because obviously you want to practice yourself before practice get as many tests and assignments done before you write your final exams you don't just want to go out and give your final exams that's something that is very very understandable fourthly competitive exams because yes you guys have been asking for ntse and all the other kinds of you know competitive exams so how do you prepare yourself for this competitive exams that's another important problem fifth choice of your own schedule because obviously it's not that you guys are you know you want to study 24 into 7 there are a few times like it's like this for some people you might feel like studying at 5 for some people it might be at 9 uh, nine o'clock in the night so choosing your schedule that is comfortable for you has become a very big problem because when you want to study the teacher obviously the classes don't happen at that time because it's at the discretion of the teacher as well as the organization so that's a big problem fifth and the last problem is nothing but choice of your own schedule not the fifth yeah it's the sixth one is nothing but your choice of your own language because it's not all the time that we understand hindi or english so this is conflict of language happening all the time as well now these are all problems that you people are facing what is the solution right the thing is guys we at vedantu are proud to say this that we have solved all of these problems how inside the class inside your regular sessions you will not just have the master teacher obviously you will have the master teacher to help you clear your conceptual notes but together with that you will also have someone called as a class teacher now the job of the class teacher is to make sure that your doubts are cleared inside the class so you don't walk out of the class with more confusions instead you'll be walking out of the class with a clear knowledge of what was taught in the class so the class teachers would give you personalized attention making sure that your doubts are cleared inside the class itself you can download all the notes and watch every recordings of every session so there is no need for to panic if in case you missed out something if there's some equation that that uh, the step that is missed out or there's some derivation or you want to watch the recording again you can always watch it whenever you want and download the notes how many even number of times you want you can a reg you have regular tests and assignments based on which you'll be getting a detailed report card as well which tells you what topics you're good at what topics you're bad at and everything of that sort you'll also be trained for your competitive exams every competitive exam ndsc kpy ndsc preparations are, will be starting pretty soon as well i think it has already started Started. so it'll be going on as well until the end of your exams i'll be talking about that as well you can choose your own schedule whatever time you feel like this are you studying you can choose that time because classes are going on 24 into 7 whenever you feel like studying you can choose that as well and finally guys you can choose your own language at this point of time it's not like we are offering sessions in all regional languages because india is a country of so many languages but at this point of time we are offering sessions in both english as well as in hindi so if you are someone who's comfortable with english you can choose that if you're someone who's comfortable with Hindi, then you can choose that as well. I'm, I'm a little uh, dry throat. Anyways, you have unlimited live classes with all micro courses and crash courses, performance report card and personalized attention to make sure that you guys are getting the best of the best opportunities that is around there. Now, here's the thing is, you already know the drill. Now, the link is given in the description below. Now, the thing about this is this, guys. Until the 11th of November, that is for, I think this is the last day, I believe, if I'm not wrong, this is the last day. Until today, all the prices are going to be cut to half. That means you're going to, get a, you're going to be getting a 50% discount on all the course, all the courses that I'm going to be telling right now, which is going to be like only valid till today. Then from tomorrow, it'll be back to normal. So what you have to do is click on the link that is given in the description below. Once you click on the link in the description below, that is the thing is, they'll ask you what grade do you belong to? 1 to 12 is the option that you have. Let's you're in 10th grade once you click on that option they'll ask you which board do you belong to do you belong for six or cbsc icc or maharashtra once you click on the board the target board they'll ask uh, this is the thing that you're going to get everything that i just told you in one uh, shot you can pause the video and read it if you want to what you have to do is click on get subscription once you click on get subscription this is what you're going to get let's say you want to go for the one month program see how it works out and then try out and if you want to do it further or not so the one month program the base price of that is four thousand rupees which is a lot money we understand that so you get a primary discount on that and you get the price down to be 2699 on top of that if you use the coupon code ame pro you get additional 50 percent discount on this 2699 rupees which is basically 1349 rupees discount for this whole month and the price the price that you have to pay is 1349 rupees for the whole month again okay
Think about it. All right. Now, let's say you want to go for the three month program. The base price that is 10,000 rupees, but again, you get a primary discount on that. The price comes down to 6,999. On top of that, if you use the coupon code AME Pro, you get additional 50% discount, which is basically 3,499 rupees. And what you'll be paying is 3,499 rupees 0.5 for for the next three months. Let's say we go for the six month cruise. For the six month cruise, the base price is 10, 16,000 rupees. The base price comes out to 11,499. On top of that, if you use the coupon code AMP Pro, you get additional 50% discount. And what you'll be paying is basically 5,749 rupees for the next six months, which is basically less than 1,000 rupees for one month. Think about it. The link that is the link is given in the description below. And do not forget the coupon code AMP Pro. All right, guys. So that's it, people. I know. I'm done. I'm done rambling. Let's get into Menti, people. That's it. Let's go to Menti. The code for today is 945753. Let's go. Quick, quick. Let's go. Let's go. There is Menti. Now, obviously, there's Menti. So, you guys, that's so quick. All right. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Anyways, go for the Menti, guys. Which grade, which board, and the subscription, everything. Yeah, all of that is given in the description below. Uh, Oh, all right. Okay then. Quickly, people. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So you're Mohit sir. Yeah. Do I look like Mohit sir to you? I'm Anup. I'm Anup. What am I? All right. Anyways. Uh, Daman, please check it. Please check it from your side. I think I can refresh it once. Let me just see if I can. Uh, guys, once again. Let me just refresh it from uh, once and uh, start back the mentee. Hold on. Let me just uh, restart it once again. All right. Yes. Yeah. Everyone's here, right? All right, so the 56, 46 over here, I want everyone to join the Mentimeter. Again, the code for today is this, guys, 94575537. The website is www.menti.com. Once you log in that website, they'll ask you for the code. Now, I want everyone to join. The thing is that they've actually, uh, you know, they've actually changed the rules and regulations of Menti now, so you can't join in the middle. So make sure that you join it at least once now, so that, you know, even if you, you don't miss out on the quiz, if you want to join it later, then you'll start regretting it. Don't do that, all right? So quickly note people, the code once again is 97575372. Um, I don't have water to drink now. Oh, I, I forgot to get some water and my throat is like super duper dry. Alright oh, guys, so let's get to the first question. I hope all of you guys are ready. There are 56 over here right now. 53 in the class as well. Everyone ready? Yes, Satish, I'll give you 30 seconds now. Quickly join, quickly join. Once you're in people, give me a quick yes in the chat box as well. So that I know that I can start the mentee, alright? I don't want anyone to miss out now. All good? Everyone in all areas. I'm going to start the Menti in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. The first question for the day. <clears throat> okay, which of the following ray diagram is correct for the ray of light incidenting on a lens shown in the figure? Look at the, the direction of the ray of light as well. There are four ray diagrams given to you. A, B, C, or D. Which of this is correct? The correct, in the correct, uh, what is it, ray diagram, or the correct standard ray of incidence. All right, is it A, B, C, or D? Six seconds, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. I'm hoping a hundred percent of fingers crossed. Touch wood. Forty nine. That's not bad at all. It's almost, almost ninety percent of the class. Beautifully done, people. Six for B, three for. Uh, C and D was chosen by two of you guys as well. However, the right answer is definitely people option number A. If the ray of light is passing through the focus, then after refraction, it will become parallel to the principal axis, right? Anyways, here's your leaderboard, people. I don't think I have to explain that much. You have already understood all of that before this. So here is your leaderboard, guys. Sanchit on top followed by rahul both of them were the fastest uh rahul again uh, send me an email you know my email id send me an email i'll give you my phone number don't worry lucky naman high five to you nathan from gwalior good to know harshit high five to you too. matthew suvid uh suvida prasoon and avnik congratulations people beautiful start such a close close leaderboard second question let's go the second question guys simple questions don't worry all laddu questions here's the second one which one has a real focus is it a convex mirror is it a convex lens is it a concave lens or a glass lamp which of this has a real focus a convex mirror a convex lens 
a concave lens or a glass lab you have 14 seconds to answer this question people quickly answer once again all those who have just joined right now www.menti.com this is only the second question so quickly join it the code is 94575537 it's also put up in the chat box copy paste it and join the quiz immediately people 37 of you guys <clears throat> after shouting for almost 40 minutes this is what you gave me now 37 19 of you guys gave uh, got, got went with concave two of you with glass lab also we didn't even mention about glass lab no? and convex mirror day the right answer is a convex lens people because in a convex lens you can see that uh, it's a converging lens so after refraction they all meet at a point that is you know on the principal axis that is what is close focus and in a concave a convex lens you have real focus in a concave lens on the other hand you have a virtual focus do not ever forget this never next time you think about forgetting it remember my angry face my hulk face that will get you back your memory trust me people trust me remember that anyways number four my person then it's bansari harshal lucky aditya anshuman priyank uh, priyanshi abnik and rachit congratulations people beautifully done it is still a very close leaderboard nothing to say apart one question can change every single thing let's see which is that question going on to the third one let's go five questions the third question here it is and the question is which of the following statement is true here's the first option geometric center of the lens is called as a pole a lens can have both surfaces flat a lens has two foci or two focuses lens has one center of curvature which statement about lenses is true once again the geometric center of the lens is called the pole the lens can have both flat surfaces a lens can have two foci or a lens has one center of uh, curvature three seconds to everyone who's voted 36 of you guys once again it's almost like around 60 percent but could have been a lot more done i expect so much from you people it's it, it's hurting me 11 of you guys with option a2 of you guys with option b and 12 of you guys with option c as well however people remember this that you cannot have two flat surfaces in a lens you don't call that as a lens anymore it'll be a rectangular glass lab it should have at least one spherical surface or curved surface when you talk about a lens at least one if you talk about planar concave lens or a planar convex lens it have one plate surface one curved surface and the geometric center of the lens is called as optical center not pole pole is for mirrors for lenses it's called as the optical center and the lens has two center of curvature because it's a part of two different spheres that's the answer guys do not get it confused that these are the basic questions and by now you should know this you must know this because your exams are approaching people you have barely another four or five months to do it so do not make such silly mistake i don't expect that from you people all right anyways naman being the fastest follower of the other it's banzari and lucky anshuman abdi gauri harshal amanov and matthew thank you now with that said people moving on to the next question the fourth question for the day people i don't know why okay i i think it's stuck all right fourth question take a look at this one guys now relax yourself it's okay make sure that you give your best shot at this one a ray appearing to pass through the focus after refraction will become parallel to the principal axis perpendicular to the principal axis passes through the focus or passes through 2f which is nothing but the center of curvature once again a ray appearing to pass through the focus appearing to pass through the focus after refraction will become parallel to the principal axis perpendicular to the principal axis passes through the focus or passes through 2f which is nothing but the center of curvature five seconds more to answer this question come on people i don't worry a lot a lot my cousins and all make fun of me because i don't know, know malayalam so yeah just so you guys know 47 much much better people exactly correct if the ray of light is passing through the focus or appearing to pass through the focus after refraction will become parallel to the principal axis beautiful guys absolutely nail that question much better here is your leaderboard at the end of that question people still the same i don't think okay i don't think there's going to be any difference whatsoever naman still leading on the top fastest once again three questions back to back fastest congratulations naman second is bansari lucky abni gauri harshal anshuman matthew manav and maithili congratulations people beautifully done with that said last question all those who haven't joined the 98 
quickly join guys 9457537 i want everyone to take a part in the last question let's end it with a bang with the marka no like laddu futa okay apparently the power is gone in my place all right the power is back up all right so here is your last question for the day people oh yeah the power went off and came back which of the following incident ray will remain undeviated out of all the four rays of light or out of all the four incident rays which of these would remain undeviated or pass through undeviated without any sort of refraction is it ray number one incident ray number one two three or four 15 seconds people go for it come on is it asif oh, oh, oh. all right is it gari all right ट <laughs> Thank you, people. Beautiful night. Here is your final leaderboard today. I think once again it's going to be backed by a ninth grader, all the tenth grader people, all the tenth grader. What is this? What is this? Huh? Where is you are letting all the from the past three, uh, you know, what to say sessions? Uh, all I see is ninth graders winning the quiz. What is happening all to all the tenth graders? Huh? Sharam, Sharam, Karo. Anyways, Naman, congratulations, buddy. Follow me, Bansari. Then it's Lucky. Follow me, Abhinav. Then it's Gauri, Harshil, Anshuman, Matthew, Manav, and Maithili. Congratulations, people. Beautifully done. Proud of every one of you guys. All of you guys did really, really well. Congratulations once again. Superbly well done, people. So that's it from my side. If there's any other doubts you would like to ask me, this is probably the best time to put down your doubts, guys. I'll try to answer as many as I can. So these are all the quiz questions, and we also have a homework. This is your homework for today. Let me know what is the answer in the comment section below. The homework is this: when a parallel beam of light falls on a concave lens, it what happens to it? Let me know what is the answer in the comment section below. I'll be hoping to see that as well. Now, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Do everything that is needed. You already know the drill, people. Do not forget to like the what is this? Do not forget to like the video. And yes, people, that is it from my side. I think the video is not visible. Apparently, okay, I did not know about it. Anyways, I just saw the this thing now. Yes, people, and also guys, one more thing, one more important thing. All of those who are looking for your NTSC preparations, guys, it is starting from fourth of November. The class are going on. It will go on till third of December. That is still the day of your exams. And these are all the teachers that will be teaching you over there. We have some amazing set of teachers for you to, you know, uh, ace your NTSC. So you know, this will be this will be on YouTube as well. So the YouTube link is vdnt.in slash vos. All you have to do is click on that link, and the price of this is going to be just nine ninety nine. For your both preparations as well as your test, your mock test as well. If you just want to take the mock test, just the mock test paper, you want to try out your and see how good you are, then the price of that is just ninety nine rupees. There's a ninety percent discount on this, so this is the link, people. You can just uh, take a screenshot of this if you want to. Again, for all the NTSC people who want who are looking for preparations, this is where you're going to get it, people. So the link is given over here. This is the link for the first one, and that is the link for the second one. Take a look at it and let me know if there's anything else that you can do from my side. All right. So that's it, guys. That is it from my side. Let me know if you have any doubts. And uh, yeah, let's call it a day then. Yes, people. Whatever doubts you have, let me know right now. Hey, is it nothing? Congratulations, well done. How many people got all the right answers? How many people were able to give all the right answers for the quiz? Give me a quick yes, people. How many people gave all the right answers? How many? Out of yeah, hi, hi, da, hi, Khan, what's up? Arna, Manav, Ar, Gauri, Manav also. How many Manavs? Da? Maithili also. Ar, okay, Maithili obviously da. Arna, Asha also. Ar, so many congratulations, well done, well done. It's all right, it's all right. Asad, no worries. But yeah, you gave all the answers in the in the chat box. I saw that. Thank you, thank you, people. So that is it from my side, people. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Even if you got one or two wrong, but make sure that you pay attention, guys. Read your textbooks again and again. I keep repeating this a thousand different times. Please make sure that you read your textbooks and also watch all the videos that are, that I've already put up and like, share, subscribe. You know, spread the word, people. That's it from my side. Let me know if you have any doubts, people. Let me know if you have any doubts. Bring it on. I'll try to clear as many as I can. Is there any doubts that you'd like to ask me? Thank you, Asif. Thanks a lot, buddy. Bye bye. It's all right. It's all right, cause Kasim. Next time, as I hope I'll see you a little sooner. Hi, Bhat. What's up, Das? Speak Hindi or not? Kya bola hai Arora ji? Kya bola hai bolo? India, Mahan desh hai. 
bye bye asif bye ready care that's 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 the extent of my idea that's the extent of my idea <laughs> anyways bye bye guys bye bye thank you for joining people see you guys in the next one now do not forget to like share and subscribe once again and if you want to reach out to me personally and you know if you want any uh, help from my side you can always reach out to me personally guys it's anup.manoharin at the rate vedanta.com it's my personal email id you can send me an email on that and i'll try to do my best to help you guys out right thank you people no no sorry no close up no close up no personal talk it's okay i'm happy with colgate i'm going to stick with colgate that's all bye guys see you in the next one now thank you thank you yaar namune yaar that's the extent of my hindi remember that anyways bye guys thank you for joining once again really love this session i uh, really enjoyed it i always keep loving i know uh, coming live on youtube and also guys i'll be coming live tomorrow as well as we have to tomorrow so from now on every week we'll have at least two to three live sessions so that you know we can uh, interact like this because majority of the time it's just video me talking but from now on i think it's going to be a little different uh, at least three times in a week i'll be coming live so i hope to see all of you guys over there so how is when panel view or light falls on a parking lot if it is parallel to the principal axis uh, then it will become it will deviate and pass through the focus or it will refract and pass through the focus there if it's parallel it will pass through the focus all right that is it all right anyways that's it guys thank you for joining then bye bye people take care of yourself stay safe and until the next time we meet this is anup peace out bye bye good night guys take care see you all